video, we will review how to send an email from your participant center. Emails are a great way to ask for gifts for your fundraising efforts, thanking donors for their contributions, and soliciting new team members. For our team captains, email communications are essential to keep motivating your team members before the event and to also remind them of important details such as turning in any offline gifts they have received. To get started, log in to your Participant Center. If you're unsure of how to do this, please see our video that has an overview of the Participant Center and how to access it. Once logged in to your Participant Center, click on the Send an Email tab towards the top of the page or on the button on the right side of the page. To make it easier for our participants and team captains, we've provided some pre-written suggested message templates for you. You can select one of these to get started. We have emails for thank you for your gift, thank you for joining my team, will you join my team, and how to ask for a gift. Or under the other category, you can start with a blank message and then create your own email content. Once you've selected your template, click on the next button on the bottom of the page to continue. Your next step is to compose your message. You can edit the subject line and the text of the body of the page. In our templates, you can just enter your personalized information into the highlighted areas in yellow of the template and delete any instructions from the template before you're ready to send. Otherwise, feel free to start from scratch and change the entire message to meet your specific needs. There is an option to include a personalized greeting on each one of your email messages. This can help save you time so you don't have to enter the dear first name line on each one of your message. To use this option, select the checkbox on the top of the composition window. Then, be sure to remove any existing Dear First Name content that has been entered into the message. The Participant Center will automatically insert the first name that is in your address book for that email recipient. If there is no first name present, it will insert Dear Friend. Remember to save your message often to prevent losing your work in case your session times out from inactivity. Just click the Save Message in your drafts to save your work. Once you're satisfied with your message content, click Next to complete and send your email message. If you've saved an email draft and need to access your saved messages, return to your Participant Center at any time. Then click the Send an Email tab to return to the email function. Then in the right side, click the Drafts tab to view your saved messages. These will show you your currently saved messages in draft status. All of your saved drafts will appear in a list by the date that they were created. Just click on the subject to continue editing and finish sending the message. Once you're done composing your message, your next step is to hit next at the bottom of the composition page. From there, you can select your available contacts. Note, if you want to add more contacts to your address book, you can manually add them by selecting Add Contacts, or you can import them from Gmail or Yahoo accounts, or you can upload a file from all other email service providers. Please see our additional how-to guides to complete this step. Otherwise, just check the box next to the names of the recipients that you would like to receive your email message. You'll notice their names show up on the right in the recipient list. Click Next to continue. You will have one final opportunity to preview your message as it will appear to your email recipients. If you'd like to make any changes to the message, click back on the Compose tab on the top of the steps to make any edits. Otherwise, you can click the green send button at the bottom of the page to complete the email process and send your message. If your message is one that you'd like to send frequently, you may want to create a template. A template provides you a starting point for your message, so you don't have to compose the entire message from scratch when you return. To create a template, 
click Save Message as a Template before you hit the Send button. Then, to access your saved templates, you can click on the Send an Email tab and go to the selecting of your email templates. And to access your saved templates, you'll then see a section called Your Saved Email Templates. From there, select the appropriate template and complete the steps that we previously outlined. You can keep track of your sent email messages at any time. To do this, just click on the Send an Email tab and then access the Sent tab on the right side of the page. All of your sent messages, along with the recipients and the date that the message was sent, will appear in a list. Congratulations! You now understand the key elements to sending an email from your participant center. If you still have questions, please view our other videos and help guides that are available on the Help tab of each event's homepage. Again, thank you for your participation and stepping out to cure scleroderma. We look forward to seeing you at the event soon.